So ever since I bought the Sony ZV-1, I was looking for the best compact, easy to carry gimbal. As you know, the stabilization of the Sony ZV-1 isn't the best as you have to be in the active mode and with that it's cropped in most of your shot. As I don't like to carry big heavy equipment, I found for myself the Kran M2 which is promises to be a small and lightweight gimbal. Is it worth it? Let's figure it out. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youssef back again in another video of Unboxing Break. And today we have the Kran M2, which is a universal gimbal, which you can use it for compact cameras like the ZV-1 that I'm using right now, mirrorless camera like the A6400, and sport cameras like the GoPro and even mobile phones. So let's open and see what's inside. Kran M2 is a really compact gimbal which is fit perfectly in your bag. Its dimensions are 27.6 cm by 6.9 cm by 13.8 cm. And it weighs only 500 grams which is really lightweight for a gimbal of this size and power. Now keep in mind that the maximum payload of this gimbal is about 720 grams. So even though the Kran M2 is a small gimbal, you still get a lot of different modes. Let's start with the PF mode, it stands for Pen and Follow which means that the camera pans as you turn the gimbal left and right. This is the one that I personally use most of the time. The next one is the L mode, stands for lock. In this one, the camera direction is locked so you won't miss a shot in any direction. POV mode, 360 degrees movement, which allows 360 degrees synchronous movement across all the axes. The next mode is the V mode, stands for vortex. And this one gave you the freedom to do 360 degrees power shot which is really cool for outdoor cinematics. And the last mode is the Go mode, stands for Sport and Fast Movement. I recommend using this for sport if you're filming something like skateboarding, where you need to move the camera and the gimbal very, very fast. The motor works much faster in this mode and the rotation is done very quickly. What you can do with the Kran M2 is actually lock the gimbal in place. So if you take the camera off, it's easy to put it back and you're good to go. No need to rebalance it again. Moreover, you have a pin that can be used as a marker, so you won't have to keep adjusting your gimbal each time. Also, if you triple tap the trigger, it will put free the gimbal into the selfie mode, which is pretty much handy for vlogging. Triple tap again will put it back to its initial position. Now, if you're getting any value of this video, please subscribe and hit the like button for me. So, I definitely recommend this gimbal as I'm sure it will take your footage to the next level. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.